Hello, my name is Laura Tate. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Elementary Schools. Many parents and guardians have many questions about the Foundation Skills Assessment, or FSA for short. So I thought it would take a moment to give you some information. The FSA is an assessment that addresses reading, writing, and numeracy, or math as I used to call it when I was in school. All grades four and seven students are required to complete it. The FSA is an assessment, not a test. A test is something that's given to a student after instruction and the results are used to evaluate or grade the student. An assessment, on the other hand, can be given to a student before, during, or after the learning. The assessment information is used to tell the teacher what they need to teach next. The goal of assessment is to make improvements, as opposed to simply being judged. Writing of the FSA has now been moved to the beginning of the school year, so the information can be used by teachers to inform them on the areas that the class and each student may need to focus on moving forward. Teachers have many assessments that they use in their classrooms. The FSA is just one way among many that teachers can learn about their students. The FSA is completed in short blocks over several days so that students are given the time they need to complete each portion of the assessment. We are in uncharted territory now, being in the midst of a global pandemic, and families are making decisions that are best for them, whether it's learning at home or learning at school. So now, more than ever, it's important that we're collecting assessment information that, so that we can gauge students where their learning is and what learning they need to do next. We need to make good instructional decisions that target learning. The FSA helps us do that. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, please connect with the principal of your school to discuss the assessment itself or the process.